Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. So, to add another chapter to the potential end of fashion and end of luxury, um, I have the feeling that certain houses, brands, are making it really difficult for people to just want to go and shop there anymore. And the latest case in point being Saks Fifth Avenue. What shenanigans are they up to now? Let's get to it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join the fun. Come join the chats. And uh, welcome. Hello to all my co tours. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. And just my opinion. As reported by... A thumb up the video, y'all, while you're at it. Uh, as reported by Fox 2 KTVU. Y'all, uh, San Francisco's Saks Fifth Avenue, which is a building that was built, so they say, allegedly, um, I would have to look into the history of it, around the 50s, in the 1950s, open for people to come in as they please, check out the stuff, shop, enjoy a little bit of luxury, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now, San Fran, Saks Fifth Avenue is stopping free entry into Saks Fifth Avenue, but instead you have to make an appointment first if you want to be allowed entry. Also, they are working on invite only. <laughs> So they either, you're a good client, they invite you, or you call, make an appointment, and sales associate is available on that day, that time, that time slot, and you can go in. Heaven is like, what? Gloria Rethino's, what? Kimberly's like, appointments to get in? Velasquez is like, wow. Heaven is like, wow, invite only for sex? <laughs> Kev says, yeah. Good luck on that, Sachs. Matter of fact, and this is like San Francisco, you guys. I mean, and this is in an area of San Francisco where like, you know, the shopping mile, but also the luxury mile, where you have a lot of tourists. People traveling from all across America, not just all across the world. Because IYKYK, you're not really going to buy European luxury brands in America because most of them are like 10 to 20% more expensive in the States. So... If you're European traveling to America, you're going to want to buy American products that are cheaper in America than in Europe. But you're not, as a European, going to want to buy Louis Vuitton or Hermes in America. It, it's ludicrous. It's just so much more expensive. But anyway, so, but tourists like to go into Saks Fifth Avenue. Well, guess what? Hundreds or thousands of tourists that run through the center where Saks is, they're not going to be allowed to enter. Think about it. Well, some random tourists that flew in from London or uh, Italy, how do they even know that they're not allowed to enter Saks without an appointment? How do they know? I mean, Saks Fifth Avenue, I mean, it's not like you've been not struggling lately, allegedly, right? Uh, I don't know if I said it before, but I'm going to repeat it. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged, just my opinion. I think I said it already. But then again, I love repeating it, don't I? So here we go. Imagine the amount of sales you're going to lose. Now, granted... They are saying that partially this decision was made because, in particular, during the pandemic and shortly thereafter, there have been a lot of, like, break-ins and theft and, you know, people just coming in and taking a bunch of stuff. And so they want to minimize the loss of their merchandise. And I, you listen, listen, Linda, I, I get it. Like, I get it that crime is an issue. But... At a certain point, you have to weigh the pros and the cons because how much money are you going to lose from theft as opposed to how much money you're going to lose from potential customers that are never going to be allowed to enter because they didn't make an appointment? You know, I mean, trouble in paradise, in my opinion. Now, what I, 
I do think in part they also announced this on the news also to kind of create some FOMO to make people think, ooh, Saks is special, you know? But here's, here's what I think is going to happen. What I think is going to happen is on those days where there are no appointments and you know they're going to come those days or on those days where there's not enough appointments, I can see this rule being broken relatively soon and like the store manager or the company manager saying, okay, okay, okay. Open up the doors, let a few people in, you know, without the appointment. You know what I'm saying? Because like, how else are you going to, you can't have a business, especially in America with this economy, you can't be exclusivist, elitist, like you and I get it. It's not like they're saying nobody can enter. They're saying call first, make an appointment, and then one sales associate will be following you all over the store. You will never be alone. <laughs> like, I get it. They want to minimize theft, probably, or they want to create a more luxurious experience. But And then people were interviewed by, by this uh, reporter on the streets, and several people were saying, well, somebody said, like, really? Do I have to make an appointment if I just want to walk by to try a pair of shoes randomly? Another lady said, I just work down the street from Saks. If I'm, like, randomly one day I manage to get, you know, my boss tells me here the last two days you worked overtime, like, take an hour extra break. That never happens. But let's just say in, a, in an ideal world it would happen. And then you're like, oh okay, I got an extra hour. You know, I'm going to eat one hour. I'm going to have lunch. And then the, the hour I have extra, let me drop off. Let me pop in to Saks to see what's happening. Maybe there's sales. Maybe there's something new. I get inspired. No, not going to happen because you didn't make an appointment, boo-boo. You can't just like improvise your arrival to at Saks, you know. Nay says, I, I used to always use their bathroom. Well, maybe that's the issue. You just left something there, but you didn't. <laughs> you left them something, but that something was not money. <laughs> Maybe that's why they changed their system. Priestess says, oh, San Francisco, I'll wait for it to happen in New York. I'm sure it's coming soon. Well, interesting that you say that, Priestess, because indeed, San Francisco, believe it or not, is not the first city where Saks Fifth Avenue did this. And so reading the article, um, Napa and Palo Alto. Already, the Saxes in Napa and Palo Alto are have already implemented this system of make an appointment first before you enter. Now, the San Fran Saks Fifth Avenue will start implementing this new regulation starting, I think they said, August 28th of 2024. So if you want to enjoy just your random improv stroll through Saks Fifth Avenue in San Francisco without any issues whatsoever, you got time just a couple of days. Uh, because end of August is when they're going to switch to the appointments only. So what do you guys think about this? Is this another sign of the times? Is this another sign of kind of, well, the end of luxury, really? Because, I mean, Saks is trying to sell this to us as a special extra luxury perk. But most people being interviewed on the street are saying, well, this is not luxury to them. To them, this is uncomfortable. And luxury, after all, should be about comfort. Luxury should be about easy. Luxury, oh, at least the illusion of easy, of ease, of safety, of, of comfort, right? And if you cannot comfortably just walk up to a Saks Fifth Avenue and enter at your own leisure, well, then where's the luxury in that, in not being able to enter at your own leisure? Kev says, since Saks have recently bought Neiman's and Bergdorf, are they going to implement the same policies across the company? I really hope they won't. But if they do, Good luck to you, Sax. Ci si vede a dopo, hai capito? Lots of love to y'all. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this down below. And is this more a symptom of the times that's going to pass, or is this a, yet another example of the end of luxury? Comments down below. Thumb up the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe. Never give up on love. Bye.